Alright everybody, hail and welcome to today's episode of Midgard Musings. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching today for episode 3 of the Rune Discussion Series, which I've titled Nine Pieces of Eight. Um, there are three, or excuse me, there are, uh, yeah, there are three sets of eight. Um, even though the title of the video is eight, as in the number eight, that's kind of a nod to, uh, to Sleipnir. Um, and of course, nine being a sacred number for uh, Norse heathenry. Um, that's why we've named the series this. Um, so today is episode three. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. If you haven't already, please check out the first two episodes, which you will see uh, in annotated cards right up here. This one, this corner, not this one, this corner. <laughs> Uh, check those guys, uh, check those videos out, guys, if you don't mind. Let me know what you think. And uh, today we're going to be talking a bit more about the runes. We're going to be talking uh, for another, uh, I believe it's going to be six more episodes after this, for a total of nine episodes in the series. And um, let me know what you guys think. All right, so again, my name is Jesse. This is Midgard Musings. I host weekly videos on this channel talking about Norse heathenry, uh, Norse heathenry related topics, things like that. And... Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and light some incense and this candle to my right. And uh, then we will go ahead with the discussion. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to miss anything, turn on bell notifications so that way you're notified every time I upload new content. And uh, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Today's uh, three runes that we're going to be talking about are Ansus, Raido, and Ganas. Uh, the first three runes that we talked about uh, last week were uh, Fegu, Urus, and Durisas. Again, that's going to be in an annotated card up here. And uh, get caught up on that if you want. And uh, so the first rune that we're going to be talking about today is Ansus. All right, Ansus is probably one of my favorite runes of the Elder Food Art in terms of its meaning, um, working with it, and Applying it, seeing it in room draws, room castings, how it appears, uh, means means a lot of things, guys. It's a very deep rune because it is considered a uh, Odin's rune. Um, of course, Odin being the one who discovered the runes after hanging on the Yggdrasil for nine days and nine nights. I guess you could say that all of the runes would be associated uh, or have Odin's association tied to them. Um, but these, this rune specifically, is. Um, is considered Odin's rune because of some of the meaning behind it. Uh, we've got a lot to it. Like I said, it's a very deep rune, but one of the, I guess, chief or, or, or you know, forefront things to be um, taught and learned about with Ansus is that it is a, a rune of communication. Uh, it, mean, it can mean the breath, uh, the conveying of words, um, correct naming of things, um, uh, applying order to things, um, inspiration, wisdom, everything that you would associate Odin with uh, is found within the, the essence of Ansus. Um, and the reason why I like it so much is because, you know, we are, communication is key, right? You know, delivering your words clearly, concisely, speaking to one another, um, it's, it's such an important thing for us nowadays, and not just face-to-face -face or verbally, but in ways such as this. You know, we, we live in a, a, an age now or in a day and a time that, um, you know, social media, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all these types of things, there's, everybody's wanting to be noticed, everybody's wanting to be seen, everybody's wanting to be heard. Um, and Ansus, I believe, for me, again, is, is a very important rune in helping with that. Um, and if, it's interesting to note how the runes flow. It's a very organic process of the way things are and the order that they're in. The, the, the rune that precedes Ansus is Thorisas, right? It, it is the rune of... Uh, it's the thorn, it's, it's the, the hammer, the, the destruction, destructive forces. Um, it can mean defense, it can mean um, an active defense, not just a, a passive stand back and kind of protect, it's, it's more of like a defensive sort of thing. Um, but there's destruction involved, you know, there, there's chaos involved in Dorisas, and Ansus comes in immediately after to bring order to that chaos, if you will. Um, again, with, with the whole being inspired, uh, wisdom, Odin is the wanderer, he, he is always seeking knowledge, always seeking wisdom, and uh, Ansus in, 
envelops uh, so much of, of Odin's essence. Um, and it is one of my favorite things. Now keep in mind as we go along and as I talk about the runes in this series, um, that some of the things that I say, it's going to kind of be just like a crash course introductory type of stuff. It's not going to be very in-depth. And it's going to be my perception or my interpretation and what I've learned from the runes um, as we go. All right. So if there's more to them, uh, which I'm sure, I mean, there's going to be more to them than just what I can get from scratching the surface here uh, with everybody. Um, but let me know down in the comments what you guys um, think from each of the runes that we talk about each week. And I'm anxious to hear what your take is on what I have to say, plus what your uh, interpretation and what your learnings have you know, kind of brought about even as you work with the runes, okay? So the next one is Raido. And it is literally the ride, okay? Uh, or the wagon. Um, it's a rune of transportation. Uh, it's a rune of journey or journeying, movement, you know, uh, progression, um, and it, it, it doesn't focus so much on the destination as it does the journey to get there, right? Um, so a lot of times um, when I see this come up, um, I, I look at it as that there's maybe not just necessarily a physical journey, that, that you're not necessarily going to be moving physically. Um, or journeying physically, but life is a journey, you know guys, uh, life, we, we, we reach different points of the road along our path, you know, and along that ride as we go. Um, and when Raido appears, I look at it as a, a pivotal point um, to, 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 to focus on the journey, you know, at, at that point. It, it, it's important to focus on the journey and to take everything that you can out of what you're experiencing during that, during that point of transportation, during that point of movement in your life. Um, learn everything that we can from the journey. That, that, that's my take on it. And it's, it's not, like I said, not always a physical journey, not like you're getting in your vehicle or, or traveling in, in a physical way, but it's, it's, you know, it can be a metaphorical sense of, of journey, you know, traveling through life. Um, it can be your own spiritual journeys that you're encountering now that need to be focused on or, you know, um, taking special attention to. Um, and uh, Raido can help, under, help us understand the importance of experiencing the journey, not, not trying to rush through things, but allowing that, that transportation to, you know, carry us on to the next point in our lives. Okay, um, and then the final rune uh, for discussion today is going to be Kenas. Uh, another favorite rune of mine, uh, Kenas is the torch, um, as in fire, um, and it's a fire not of destruction per se, um, but it is a fire of illumination. It's literally like the torch that you would carry in front of you um, to illuminate the way in front of you and to give light to not just you, but to the parties that you're with and to the people that are around you. Kind of a beacon, the way I look at it as well in a way. It's, 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 it's that, that light that people can look to, to uh, be a guide for them and for us, you know, individually. It can be our own guiding light. Um, it is the, like I said, the illumination, you know, um, bringing out the not, the, not the knowledge itself, but the seeking of that knowledge. And again, the, the appropriateness, I, I feel, uh, of how the runes go, uh, you know, in order of things, you know, we, we, we see before Kenos, we see the journey, the transportation, the ride, and then we see in front of that the torch, the, the, the light ahead of us, kind of the, the, the light that gives us that clear insight for the journey uh, that we're on. Um, so when I see when I see a Kenos appear, or when I draw Kenos um, for my own drawing, or see it in a casting, um, you know, it, there's there's some sort of uh, need for uh, illumination. There's there's you, you're in a, you're, at, you're at a point, uh, or I'm at a point uh, where it's important to continue seeking knowledge. There may be something that needs to be brought out into the light, something that is concealed um, that needs to be illuminated. You know. And another thing, guys, that I want to mention, too, is that when it comes to the actual practice of using runes for divination, um, you know, I've, I've said numerous times in this video and other videos 
um, about you know when this room comes up this is what I understand it to be this is what I say you know that it, it can it, it's never the same thing at least from what I've come to learn and understand when working with the runes is that you know Kenas, uh for instance since we're talking about it right now um, has certain meanings at its root but there's also everything else around it how the rune appears where it appears with the other runes around it um, that can bring out more than just the basic information or the basic you know essence of the rune itself there's more to it you know if there's um, you know, whatever other rooms that, that may uh, be drawn or are cast around it, it it has an impact on the meaning of the rune itself you know so um, probably about halfway through this series um, maybe not this next episode but the one after that when we're maybe a little bit close to, to halfway through um, we're probably going to talk about what I do kind of just a little bit of how, how I use the runes for divination uh, what my practice is because I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of people out here that are not sure maybe they're feeling a, a pull to the runes and they're not really sure you know what to do how to start with it we're going to talk a little bit about that more as the series progresses um, but you know just right now we're, we're kind of getting into the the, the surface scratching of understanding the meaning behind each of the rooms, okay? Uh, so stick around for the series. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that way all of this, like videos like this, um, also are going to generate in your feed. When you do that, the more you interact, the more the YouTube um, algorithm will kind of figure out what you're into and you'll see videos like this appear in your feed and you'll get more information because it's so much out there, okay? Um, there's so much information out here on the internet, um, in the libraries and books and sources and things that you really need to uh, spend time in, as well as just physically doing it. You know, guys, um, if you feel the call to, and you feel that, that draw to, uh, to study the runes, um, it's, you can't ignore it. I mean, I didn't. Um, once I was kind of unsure at first, and then once I felt that draw, once I knew for sure, that that was where I needed to kind of continue my my journey, right? Um, that was the, the rooms were were it. Um, and once I once I kind of dove into it, once I descended into the well, uh, if you will, um, it was it's just been a, a, an amazing and wonderful and enlightening journey. And I'm hoping that this you know series can maybe help uh, bring some of that to you and. Kind of help you if you are curious about deciding to you know continue with the room so um thank you so much for watching today this concludes uh today's episode uh tune in again next week next sunday for episode four and um we'll uh we'll, we'll keep going on with this and uh, i appreciate all your support thank you again so much for watching be sure to like comment share subscribe check out anything else that you see pop up in the end screen uh, as far as related videos and uh, thank you all again. Hail, and I'll see you in next week's video.